Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also quickly into the DXY and Nasdaq. So we're gonna start straight here in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because we are coming to a very critical point here my friends. We are pushing towards the $61,000, the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement and once this level is getting broken then in my opinion we are out of the woods and we should look towards new all-time highs here very very soon for Bitcoin because uh, in all time frames we are looking again extremely bullish there could be of course a little more correction phases during our uptrend here but uh, overall I think we are very close to go out of the woods here if we are able to push higher than $61,000 right now. Everything is pointing out that we have the chance now to do so, but I also want to show you what could happen here at least for the short term that could maybe wash out here a little bit some weak hands before we had higher. So I'm gonna cover both scenarios uh, today. The first one of course is the bullish one since we are now in an uptrend here in the four hour time frame I still think that we are about to come and test this $61,000 right at the top of this potential rising wedge that we are forming here in the four hour time frame. Usually rising wedges are bearish patterns but since we are in an uptrend and still in our big bull market I think that the chances are very high that we could see follow through to the upside here and have a nice breakout to the upside. Similar like we had a nice breakout to the upside here for Dogecoin. We also had a bearish pattern but we broke out to the upside and right now we continue to push towards our next potential uh, target here of around 89 cents. So Dogecoin also here is still pumping and breaking out out of bearish patterns. So maybe we could see the same thing also here for Bitcoin incoming because we are still in an uptrend we are above the EMA ribbons above all the moving averages and also in my own indicator you can see that money flow is again positive and even though we are coming into overbought condition uh, and could get one more or less leg down towards $57,400 maybe even come down to test the main support currently at around $55,500 I still think that here we are back in an uptrend and we could see here potential successful breakout above $61,000 and now let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can also see that here although we recovered successfully again above the EMA ribbons and above all the important moving averages so here in the daily time frame we have a lot of room left to the upside and that's why a potential push above $61,000 is very likely and if this is happening then we should be out of the woods because in that case we will most likely come up to retest the all-time high of $65,000 and then of course uh, FOMO could uh, kick in again and then of course we would see again big explosive moves to the upside for Bitcoin and at the same time we would also start to trade again above the Keltner channels which so far are still giving us resistance we had today here another retest and the more we are testing this resistance the better because it's getting weaker and then the likelihood of breaking out to the upside is higher and this is also exactly where the Bollinger Bands right now are lining up so we have right here the top of the Bollinger Bands at the exactly $60,000 so if we are able to close daily candles again the Keltner channels and of course also both the Bollinger Bands then we could see here follow through to the upside and big explosive moves are about to come my friends and we definitely are heading then towards 70 to 80 thousand dollars in the next coming days if this is happening here in the next coming days because now the more bearish scenario would be that if here we're gonna have a breakout to the downside so if in these next coming days or weeks we're gonna fail to push above $61,000 and fall below the support here of around $56,000 right now then in my opinion 
opinion we could potentially form here a big w pattern in the daily time frame and then of course latest then also see big fireworks to the upside because we are still in our bull market and even though here we could still see a breakout to the downside to retest important supports and then continue higher uh, is still in the cards as long as we are within this rising wedge so we have to wait here also for a breakout and confirmation and once this is happening then we know if we are headed higher so we can go to buy a bit or femex open up some nice long positions or if here we're gonna have a breakout to the downside then we just have to wait until we're gonna bottom out again and then enter some nice longs over on Bybit or Femex because the likelihood that somewhere here at around $50,000 latest, if here we're gonna see a breakout to the downside, we're gonna get a nice bounce is very high. And uh, if you want to trade over on Bybit or Femex with leverage, because also with small amounts, you can do some nice gains here when we're having these explosive moves to the upside or also to the downside, then use the referral links that you find down below here in the video description, because with my Links, you will get some extra money and of course you support the channel at the same time so for Bitcoin right now we are waiting here for this potential breakout above $61,000 but if we're gonna lose here this support that we are creating currently here at $56,000 watch out because we could still get one more less leg down to potentially create a big double bottom formation here before we had higher and now let's have a look also into Ethereum because yesterday we were about to fall below this rising wedge in the four hour time frame and uh, so far we got supported by the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame which currently is lining up here at $3,470 so I think that's the reason why we didn't drop lower so this important moving average held as a support and that is an extremely bullish sign here for Ethereum so right now we can make the case that we are trying to push a higher again and that of course is a bullish thing but also we could in theory adjust a little bit here this uh, rising wedge and in that case we would still be in this potential bearish pattern here and we still need to wait for a clear breakout and confirmation here out of this pattern similar like we're seeing right now over on Bitcoin. So let's see if Bitcoin or Ethereum is going to be the first one that is breaking out to the upside. Once this resistance here on Ethereum is currently at $3,700 is broken and we also consolidate above this price level. Also here I'm expecting the price to go straight towards the next potential Fibonacci extension level of $4,050. And of course if this one is broken then look out for $4,500. Those are the next potential Fibonacci extension levels on our way towards potentially $8,000 for Ethereum, which in my opinion is still possible to reach within the next coming weeks and months if we continue like that, because of course we are also a bit overbought in the bigger time frames, and everything is gonna be depending where Bitcoin is heading to next. But uh, since we have now the chance to push higher and see explosive moves over on a Bitcoin, then of course, although for the altcoins, especially here for Ethereum, we could see big follow through to the upside. And a very bullish thing that I'm about to show you right now, my friends, is here in the DXY, because the DXY is falling below this potential support that we would have here, in theory, from this bearish ascending broadening wedge. And yesterday we closed below the support here of $90.50. So the DXY failed to bounce here at $90 dollars and 50 cents and if here we're gonna continue to drop lower in these next coming days and weeks then be prepared that we're gonna see big pumps in the crypto and stock market because if the dxy is falling here towards the next potential support here of 89 dollars this will lead into a nice rally in the crypto and stock market here for the short to mid term and this could bring bitcoin above our $61,000 mark that needs to be broken now in order to have explosive moves to the upside and especially if the DXY wouldn't even bounce here at $89 and continue to fall we can also zoom out here a little bit let's go over into the weekly time frame because as you can see uh, this support here, this $89, is a very important support level that also held here in 2017 when Bitcoin reached 20k 
and then we started the bear market for uh, the crypto space but here on the dxy we started with this nice uh, uh, bull run here and right now we are approaching again this critical level here of 89 dollars and if this one wouldn't hold the next potential uh, support or resistance level could be here between uh, let's say let's draw some lines here let's say 84 85 dollars and maybe also this one here could be a significant level here at around 78 to 79 dollars somewhere here i can imagine that we would see some bounces uh, on the way to the downside but if the DXY would fall below $89 and reach those levels down here, uh, then in my opinion, we're going to see big moves to the upside for the crypto and stock market. So be prepared for that. And um, that's why we also are covering the DXY here in this channel. And now let's go over to NASDAQ because Nasdaq yesterday had this nice push here towards our potential new resistance here of around $13,800. And I told you yesterday that it's very likely that after this bounce here right at the bottom of the EMA ribbons that we are coming up to retest this important price level that could be acting as a new resistance, also where the 20 daily moving average is lining up. So if Nasdaq is able to recover here into this ascending triangle and maybe also have a breakout to the upside, then here the chances are very high that we could see something similar also for Bitcoin that we could see very soon a new all time highs since also for Nasdaq then we will see new all time highs once this resistance here of $14,000 is broken. Also in my own indicator you can see that we are about to get a buy signal It's not yet confirmed but it's very likely that in this coming week we're gonna hear a confirmed buy signal bring the RSI above the 50 level and also bring money flow back into positive especially if the DXY continues to fall this will be very much in favor for Nasdaq and then in my opinion we have also very good chances that we're gonna see follow through to the upside here for Bitcoin and uh, yeah it's uh, about some hours my friends I think until we're gonna see here a clear decision if we are about to head higher towards new all-time highs because if $61,000 is broken then in my opinion we are good to go and we should see explosive moves to the upside once this long big consolidation phase here between 50 50 to 60 K is over and if we're getting here one less leg down towards 50k take it as a good buy and long opportunity for the long term because we're definitely not done here with our bull market and we're gonna see here big explosive moves incoming in the next coming weeks and months. So with that said guys, we're gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. For all the members that are getting here a YouTube membership, you can now get access directly here on YouTube to my live stream indicator. So you don't need necessarily to come over to Discord to get the access to the indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. You can watch the live stream also now here 24 seven on YouTube if you're interested in that then just get here a monthly subscription which is only starting by $9.99 a month otherwise just contact me here on discord through our discord community because here it's only a little donation needed in order to get lifetime access to my indicator live stream if you're interested just join our discord community and contact me here directly on discord because a small donation is needed and uh, how to get into our discord community very easy just use the invitation link down here in the description then go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot then you have free access to the trading chat and also check out all the referral links that you find down below here to open up an account over on Binance to buy some Dogecoin or over on Coinbase and so on. You will get some extra money if you use my referral links. And also a big shout out goes to Bitscap. They are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. In this platform, you can connect all your exchanges to one place do arbitrage and run trading bots on your exchanges. As you can see, my trading bots so far are running very profitable. So take advantage of this free 14 days. If it's paying out for you, then upgrade to a monthly plan, which is only starting for $19 a month. So have a great weekend, my friends, and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.